I have to say that I'm not a very conscious, intentional writer. Um, that I wanted her to, uh, my, my goal with her when I, when I first began writing about her was to have a woman who could solve her own problems, who didn't need rescuing and whose experience, at least having to support herself and solve her own problems mirrored that of, of most women that I know. You know, I think when you're a teenager, you may dream of, of that heroic prince, but in real life, um, I was very lucky to marry a man who actually could fix the plumbing, the electricity, the starter on the car engine and all those things. But I know a lot of marriages where it's actually the wife who's stand, sitting, lying there under the sink with the wrench while the husband's like, oh, should we call a plumber? So, you know, it, it's... I wanted her to reflect that that reality of the experience of, of many women. But in terms of, of doing it deliberately, putting her in peril, I've often been either questioned or criticized for the physical nature of the peril that she encounters. And I what I what I think it, it reflects is that the physicality is a is a manifestation of the um, I don't know, danger isn't quite the right word, but um, nothing comes easily. And in America these days with so much violence and um, uh, so much neediness, um, it affects people in the body, whether psychically, physically, I mean, a reflection of of mental trauma gives you physical symptoms, reflection of the violence that just permeates our, our country. And so she, her physical peril and danger is a reflection in the body of, of what our, our group experience is.